Welcome back to the Tool Crib. Today we are going to be talking about lighters and in particular the Zippo lighter and some of the many reasons why I actually choose to carry a Zippo as opposed to all the plethora of other lighter options that are out there in today's world. You know there are certain brand names that when you hear them you automatically think that's American. Brands like Ford, Chevrolet, John Deere, Carhartt, Levi Strauss, Red Wing, Disney, Coca-Cola, Harley Davidson, Zippo. Now, I realize that those are just a, a few examples of the iconic American brands out there, but some of those names really stand the test of time. They just speak to the quality of their product, and Zippo is definitely one of those brands. And it's one of the many, many reasons why I choose a Zippo over different options that are out there today and why I think you might want to as well. I've come up with a bit of a list as to why I prefer to carry a Zippo lighter over the many different other options that are available as a fire starting instrument for just regular lighters from uh, butane lighters to uh, uh, arc lighters, just all kinds of, of different kinds of lighters you can have. But I prefer the Zippo. First of all, it's a really classic design. Uh, they started producing lighters in the early 1930s and originally the hinge was on the completely on the outside of the body of the lighter. Then in 1941 when America entered the war they started making the lighters out of steel and the hinge got moved to the inside with just the hinge portion exposed here. Now after the war they went back to brass because uh, Obviously, during the war, uh, pressure, the metals were, were a little bit more scarce, and so uh, that's the reason they made them out of steel. After 1945, when uh, the w World War II actually ended, they went back to making them out of brass. And the design has really kind of been constant over the years. It hasn't changed a whole lot. There's been a couple of little minor tweaks to it as far as the housing itself and they changed the chimney just a little bit, but overall the design has pretty much stayed the same and it's really stood the test of time. Now one thing about a Zippo, that is a sound and a feel that you just cannot replace. So I like the sound that a Zippo makes. The click of a Zippo is just iconic, it really is. I guarantee you that if you had a hundred people that were blindfolded and you ask them to identify that sound, 99 out of 100 could tell you what it is. And that just speaks to the popularity and the level of, of uh, quality of the Zippo itself as well. I like the sound of it. I really like the feel, the heft of the Zippo lighter. Uh, it just feels like it's built well, and it is. And I actually like the faint smell of the lighter fluid that you get off of Zippo whenever you're using it. And I know that not everybody will, but I definitely do. It's part of the aura, I guess, of using a Zippo lighter. Now, the overall quality we spoke to, or I have spoken to many, many different times already, but it repeats, it bears repeating that the quality on a Zippo is just really second to none. And their guarantee is outstanding. It works or they'll fix it. That's their motto. And to date, since the inception of Zippo, they have never ever charged anybody to refurbish their Zippo lighter. So anything that goes wrong with the lighter mechanically is 100% covered. And that is, that's nice to have, uh, especially some of these lighters can get well over a hundred dollars. And then if you got into some of the precious metal lighters, oh my goodness, that they produced back in, um, I think it was 2001 and 2006 where you had titanium and gold and silver then you're talking some real real money but oh, I would think that a lot of people wouldn't be using those particular lighters and more just for collectors another thing that I like about the Zippo lighter is really you know this is like the original fidget toy it really is with all the different tricks that are out there today uh, that are all plastered all over the internet that you can find to do uh, tricks with Zippo lighters as well. It's just fun to play with. Now, they are highly collectible as well. When you get into the thousands and thousands and thousands of different designs that Zippo has come out with over the years, uh, they're just 
so highly collectible. Uh, and again, we talked about some of those precious metal ones. Those are really, really sought after. Some of the early versions as well, some of the ones that were made in steel, uh, the early 30s versions of this lighter. Uh, there is a lot of different models that are really, really highly sought after, especially for the Vietnam areas, uh, era as well. Now, the next thing is that these lighters are kind of heirlooms or can be made into heirlooms. I know several people that are using lighters that their grandfathers used. And I actually know one guy who is using a lighter that his great-grandfather used. Uh, well, he's not using it, but it's been passed down to him. So it's just something that can be passed down through the generations of your family. Now, one of the biggest things is the Made in the USA label. Now, I do realize that Made in the USA doesn't necessarily mean the same thing today that it did 50 years ago. But with Zippo, it does. Uh, made in the USA means quality. It really does. Uh, now, I have a lot of tools and equipment from different parts of the world, from Germany and other countries in Europe, uh, from Asia, from Japan, uh, even from Latin America that are really high quality. It just really depends on what you're, what you're uh, going after. But the Made in the USA label for the Zippo, it, it means something. It really does. They make an exceptional quality lighter. And... As an American, I love to support my country whenever I can. And so it's a big, big part of my reasoning for using or, or carrying a Zippo lighter as opposed to some of the other lighters that are out there today. The last thing is, is you can make these so highly personable. So they have themes of patriotic themes. Uh, Western theme lighters, you can put your favorite sports uh, team on there, whether that be NFL or NHL or NBA or MLB or, or uh, soccer, I would assume as well. You can put your favorite rock group on there or your favorite animal. There's many, many different versions for the armed services, for the Marines and Navy and Coast Guard and so on and so forth. Um, you can have your favorite vehicle brand. Your zodiac sign, uh, gothic themed, religious themed, or just classic like the antique brass and the crackle uh, finish on this one. Or they have a plethora of really, really cool geometric designs. Or you can just get one inscribed with your favorite saying or just your initials or your name. Uh, so they can be passed down in your own family as heirlooms. There's so many, many different options to make each lighter your own. And that is something that you don't get with a disposable lighter. Uh, there's, now, there's downfalls to them. Uh, one of the things with the Zippo is that if you don't use it, uh, you're gonna, it it's going to leak fuel. That's just one of the, one of the things that happens with the Zippo lighter. Uh, now, it's not going to run out in 24 hours. But over time, it will definitely leak, leak fuel and you'll have to keep up with it. Now, in today's world, they have different inserts. In fact, uh, Zippo has several different inserts for their lighter. They have two different versions of a butane insert uh, where you can use, you could change your lighter into a butane lighter. And they also have an arc lighter insert that you can, a uh, rechargeable arc lighter insert. And they also have an insert that's for pipe as well. And one of the aftermarket ones that is, actually I just purchased it and I don't know how soon it's gonna get here, but I'm anxious to try it out, is the Vector Thunderbird. And that is a butane insert, but that's a soft flame insert uh, as opposed to the torch flame style that you'll get with some of the other butane inserts. So there are ways to, to make it more viable, especially for those that don't smoke uh, cigarettes or pipes or other recreational uh, you know things so it's definitely can be made to be more reliable as far as not leaking fuel and then you don't get that fuel smell but that for me that just kind of takes away from you know the actually being a Zippo uh, whether that's your style or not what I do love about them is how much you can really personalize these to make them your own. And that is something that you just don't get out of other lighters. And again, 
that's just a sound and a feel that you cannot replace. And these are some of the many, many reasons that I prefer Zippo.